after the Great Recession and the um, pandemic recession that we're just getting out of now, the Fed balance sheet is vastly different, much larger than it was, say, 15 years ago. Um, now, I know this is not the time to, to shrink it. Uh, you're not. Uh, but, but look at past this the current crisis and look ahead where we might be 15 years from now. Do you envision um, the Fed going back to a smaller balance sheet, having a more modest role in financial markets as it did in the past? Or do you think we're in, in a new world where this expanded balance sheet is a permanent fixture uh, of the financial system? I, I do want to begin by agreeing with your with your first point, which is um, uh, the economy is far away from maximum employment and stable prices, and, and the balance sheet will be the size that it needs to be to provide support to the economy. And as you know, we're currently buying assets, and uh, it's a key part of what we're doing in providing overall uh, uh, accommodation to the economy. That is our focus. We're not thinking about shrinking the balance sheet. Just to be clear, I, I just want to make sure that that's out there. But to, to get to your real question, in the long run, our balance sheet will be no larger than it needs to be uh, to meet the demand for our liabilities and allow us to implement monetary policy effectively and efficiently. So it, it really is, in the long run, it's demand for our liabilities, which are the two biggest of which are currency and reserves. So when we, when we buy assets, we're, we're really thinking about buying assets. But in the, what, when, when the, the pool of assets declines over many years, as it did after the global financial crisis, um, it really is the public's demand for our liabilities. So we will return to a place gradually with tons of transparency and, and not beginning anytime soon to a place where really the size of our balance sheet is set by the public's demand for our liabilities. It won't be the $20 billion balance sheet that we had in 2005. It won't because, and that partly is just that growth of demand for currency has been surprisingly high in a, in, at a time when in many other parts of the world, uh, people are declining to use currency. Demand for reserves, though, reserves are you know the most liquid uh, uh, asset, and and they're in high demand for, for banks to meet their liquidity requirements and and payment uh, utilities and all that. So, um, longer run, though, I, I, so we will get back to that. And, and uh, you know, we we did um, ultimately do that after the global financial crisis, we, we froze the size of the balance sheet in 2014. And then as the economy grows, the balance sheet shrinks as a percent of GDP. In addition, reserves decline as, uh, as currency and other liabilities sort of organically grow. So, but again, these are, these are longer term. Uh, uh, so the answer to your question is yes, with a, with a long explanation, I would say. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.